In this video, we are going to look at arthrokinematic assessment and treatment for the plantar capsule of the medial intertarsals. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. The aim of roll glide assessment is to gain information on reactivity of the joint and of course articular problems such as capsular limitations. When talking about the medial intertarsal joints, we are referring to the articulations between the talus and navicular bone, as well as between the navicular bone and medial cuneiform. In both cases, the proximal joint partner is convex and distal joint partner is concave, so we will roll and glide in the same direction. To conduct this technique, the patient is either in supine lying or sitting position and the foot is placed over the edge of the bench. Position yourself lateral to the foot in either standing or sitting on a chair. Then fixate the foot with one hand by grabbing onto the talus and place the hypothena of the other hand on the navicular bone from plantar. Then roll and glide into dorsal, distal and medial direction. Moving distally Fixate the navicular bone and place the Roland gliding hand on to the medial cuneiform and move into the same directions. Assess for movement quality during roll and glide, possible pain provocation and end feel. For end feel assessment, roll and glide to end range. Then assess if further gliding is possible or not. In a hypomobile joint, the glide is reduced relative to the roll component, so no further gliding is possible. If you feel that the end feel or movement quality is abnormal, you can directly move further from assessment to intervention, as the movements that are performed are essentially the same. When used as an intervention, make use of the Maitland grades of mobilization to dose your techniques depending on your goals. Check the video in the top right corner to learn more about that. Okay, you've reached the end of the video and if you like, you can check out more videos on manual therapy in the playlist to my left. Again, check the info icon in the top right corner for the featured videos and also take a look at the links in the video description down below. At last, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button. This will let you know once we release new videos. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.